Good morning. Yesterday we talked at church on a Christmas message about hope, a thrill of hope. But sometimes in these holiday seasons, it's difficult to engage hope. We get kind of overwhelmed with busyness. We get overwhelmed with just kind of feelings that creep in and sort of begin to manipulate uh, the, the way that we uh, see things and the way that we are uh, conducting ourselves within this whole supposedly joyous and peaceful holiday. I want to suggest to you something in terms of how to engage hope that is, I think, underestimated for us a lot of times. As I talked about just real briefly yesterday, in Psalm 42, the psalmist, you know, basically just looks at his own heart and says, Why so downcast, O my soul? Put your hope in God, for I will yet again praise him. And it's a beautiful kind of process because there are times when you and I need to speak to our own souls. Maybe that's a lot. Maybe that's not just a little. Maybe our souls are just kind of going in this uh, terribly negative, terribly defeating, terribly uh, despondent or depressed sort of state. And at different points in time, I have had to, and all kinds of other uh, believers that have grown up in the Lord have said this to me, that I've had to speak to my own soul and say, hey, stop this. This is not where we're going. Uh, one of the gals in our church yesterday came up to me after the message and said, when she feels this, she just starts walking around the house and speaking to her soul. Soul, this is where we're going. You're going to hope in God because God is good. God is for you. You are on his team. That he is has come into your world. He is here and he is for you. So hear that and hear that. And, and she just said, I walk around my I walk around my house until my soul begins to buy into this. That's the key in this, is that our confession leads our mood, our confession leads our attitude, our confession, what comes out of our mouth, leads our, our perspective. And so we have to, at different points in time, do what the psalmist in Psalm 42 did. We have to declare to our own souls, this is the direction that I'm going. I'm going in the direction of hope. I'm hoping in God now, and I'm not taking anything uh, less than that. And I, I want to tell you that when you do this, and you do this enough, it starts to train your soul to the hope of God. So let's do that in this next week as we kind of move into Christmas. Let's, let's train our souls to hope in Christ. Thanks so much for joining me today. We'll talk tomorrow.